Welcome to my first portfolio walkthrough video. I've been building up my dividend portfolio for a year now, so I thought it would be interesting to share what I've done and the high level stats for each month. These are the exact type of videos that actually inspired me to get started dividend investing, seeing the passive income that other people were being paid. Hopefully, my videos can inspire someone to get started investing too. That would make everything worth it. I'm going to be completely transparent with my dividend portfolio here. I will walk through each month at a high level and then at the end I will scroll through my entire portfolio. Before starting I think it's important to provide some quick context in my portfolio. So I started investing in February 2020 with around 30 stocks and ETFs in my portfolio, investing around £200 a week. There are three factors that I analyse of a company when I decide whether to add to my portfolio. The dividend safety, the future dividend growth and the dividend yield. The yield is the least important factor, but definitely plays a role. While all the stocks I choose would have a safe dividend under normal circumstances, the pandemic hitting caused unprecedented times. The uncertainty about whether a normally very successful business model would be viable throughout a pandemic led to many companies suspending or cutting their dividend payment, including quite a few that I was investing in. That leads to probably a lower overall yield than would typically be expected in a dividend portfolio, but I fully expect that yield to rise over the next years. And just to remind everyone, dividend investing is a long-term strategy, something that you won't really be seeing great results until around seven years into, so bear that in mind when judging the portfolio. I have various stocks and ETFs to my weekly investments as time progresses until in October when I refine my investments down to eight or nine holdings, primarily ETFs. By the way, I'm not selling any stocks or ETFs during this. I am simply changing where my £200 is going each week. If interested in the stocks and ETFs that I invest in currently each week, check out my portfolio video on it. I'll put the link in the description. Now onto my portfolio. So obviously, starting investing in February, just before the massive market crash in March, wasn't the best timing. As you can see, basically every investment I made then is still heavily in the red. I ended up putting in just shy of £700 to get the portfolio started and I did not receive any dividends yet. In March, the crash happened and so I of course heavily bought the dip, piling in £3,800. Each week I was putting around £1,000 in and then it would drop another 10%. It honestly felt like I was trying to catch a falling knife at the time and it seemed like a massive mistake. But buying great companies with great fundamentals at discounted prices is very rarely a mistake and as you will see at the end of the video has provided me with fairly decent capital appreciation. However, that isn't the aim. Passive income is. As you can see in March, I did receive my first dividend payments, £5.89 from the FTSE ETFs. There really is no feeling like getting your first ever dividend payment. At the time, I was screenshotting it and sending it around to many of my friends, bragging about how many Freddos I would buy with my new passive income and stuff like that. Of course, in reality, the dividends were reinvested straight back into the portfolio. In April, there was more dip buy-in, with me investing £2,000. If you buy the dip as well, hit the like button to let me know. There were only £1.79 in dividends received, very low but expected in the first few months of the portfolio. Pretty much the same again in May, the first few months of investing were fundamental to lay down the foundations of my portfolio and it really did start paying dividends in the coming months and will continue to for years after. Just to mention, if you notice the £19 gilts payment on my phone, gilts are a government bond in the UK, these are not part of my portfolio, I simply was storing money in bonds that was to be invested into stocks later on. In June, the market seemed to be recovering, so the dip buying ended going back to roughly £200 a week. The portfolio smashed the previous monthly dividend record with £31.77, so about £1 a day. A large proportion coming from Legal in general, which in my opinion is the best dividend company currently on the market. I'll put a link in the description to my dividend analysis video on Legal in general in case you haven't already seen it. July saw £16.69 come in, the majority of that coming from the US dividend aristocrats. August was a comparably solid month, bringing in £14.83 in dividends, while bringing my total investment to around £11,800. Most of the dividend coming in from the national grid, a very safe and solid dividend payer. 
September brought in £23.07 from nine separate payments, most notably my first dividend from a straight US listed equity, Microsoft. Microsoft has a meagre yield, but the dividend is extremely safe and has a very high growth rate. October was a new record month, bringing in £48.04 from 10 dividend payments. The lion's share of this coming in from various ETFs that I own, namely the US dividend aristocrats, which I was building a large position in. October brought the overall dividends received to over £100 too, which was a great milestone to hit. November and December were both similar months with large number of dividend payments but all reasonably small, with £8.15 and then £5.92 received. In January, the portfolio started 2021 the right way, with a new dividend record. £57.14 received from 14 payments. £57 is still a fair way off financial independence, of course, but not bad after less than a year when dividend investing is such a long-term strategy. The way I see it, the money is 19 Tesco meal deals, just shy of being able to buy lunch every working day of a month in January, which was 20 this year. And finally, to finish the year with £16,817.89p invested, £6.66 in dividends were received in February. So my portfolio's first year gave me a passive income of 61p per day, every single day without fail when averaged out, for doing absolutely nothing. Truly passive. With dividend investing, the snowball effect is commonly talked about. As you receive and reinvest more and more dividends, the payout continually grow. Over the last year, this process is just beginning to get started. It is still in very early days though. Looking at all the holdings in my portfolio, you can see plenty still haven't paid out a single dividend to me. Over the next year, I fully expect all these companies to reinstate the dividend policies, rapidly increasing the income and yield generated by my portfolio. As you can see, plenty of the investments are sat at a fairly large profit. This can be attributed to my fearless dip buy-in during the market crash in 2020. Not every investment I've made has turned out to be a successful one so far, but I've made enough that have been successful for the portfolio to overall be up £2,313, almost 14%, bringing the total value to £19,131. The portfolio yield on investment is sat at just below 2%, which is very low, but I fully expect that to rise pretty significantly over the next year. If you made it this far to the end, I think you're completely awesome. Most people would definitely find this video quite dull, so if you didn't, you're probably similar to me in that you're a bit of a finance nerd and very interested in building long-term wealth, which I think is great. Kudos to you. If you appreciate my transparency with my portfolio, please do hit the like button. I really appreciate all likes and comments on my videos. It helps so much. Good luck investing and may the markets forever be in your favour.